Welcome back to K Fake Science, the only fake science show on the internet that wonders why is conscience spelled con science? I'm your host, stop, drop, shut them down, open up shop, Dr. Dave. And today's episode is The Rude Awakening. Now, we've talked a lot about sleep on this show before, but now it's time to talk about waking up, especially from one of the rudest naps that one can take. Now, it is my observation that despite putting many a mother out, the rude awakening might just be named as such because of how much it has in common with reviving an unconscious person with cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Okay, now, just to be clear, this is not a CPR tutorial. Especially because up until now, I thought that CPR was something that pirates did to relieve themselves over the side of the boat. They could have been! Anyway, when it comes to the purposes of today's video of comparing the rude awakening to CPR, one of the first things you do after checking to make sure that the breathing way is clear is to place one hand over the victim's forehead and another hand over the victim's chin, which is what we can see rude doing right here. Next, you have to make sure that their arms are positioned to their sides, like so. Follow that up by having them look up directly at the ceiling. In other words, counting the lights, which is exactly what many people have done after fixing the rude awakening. Then you have to tilt their head and make sure that they're lying completely flat on their back, which is what the ravishing one does when he plants them firmly on the ground. And finally, get on top and get the job done. Now, when you look at it this way, it's weird how much these two descriptions have in common. But again, this is not how you perform CPR. And in fact, with that much head trauma, it's gonna do the opposite of waking someone up. So again, do not do this. Okay, so now that that's covered, how about we talk about a real rude awakening, as in smelling salts, because it works through the use of ammonia gas. Are you not familiar with ammonia? Don't worry, it's pretty basic. <laughs> Chemistry joke, it's because I'm nerdy. Now you see, ammonia gas works to irritate the nose and the lungs, triggering an <gasps> inhalation reflex that is capable of resuscitating a knocked out noggin. And if you've ever had this done to you personally, well, you know that smelling salts is probably the rudest way that one can be woken up. Even more than putting your hand in a cup of warm water. I didn't forget about that, Pete. When I wake up, I know I'm gonna be the man that's waking up next to you because I would walk 500 miles. Man, those guys had great fashion sense. Well, there you have it. The best part of rudely waking up is kayfabe science in your cup.